and a very good evening to you all. It is round four of season four of Next Gen by JL. It is the Italian Grand Prix in Monza and of course the Temple of Speed. Welcome along to our pre-race show as the countdown to F124 continues. We've still got five more races on this game before we transition to the next iteration of the Formula One game series. I'm Mr. Storm. Joining me in the commentary box tonight is Tim. No Ben Buxton this week, it doesn't look like, but we may have a special guest joining us later on. Wink, wink. A very good evening to you all. Tim, how are you, my friend? I'm pretty good. How are you? <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah, Friday night, next gen. Lovely stuff, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. I mean, the weekend properly begins here with... Uh, Next gen on a Friday night, uh, all the sort of stuff that I get up to on Saturday and hoping Liverpool don't bottle the league on Sunday. Uh, does it's not looking good at the moment, is it? Yeah. At least, at least Manchester City went out of the Champions League, and I can be very happy about that. Anyway, we're not and here to talk to about the Premier League. We are here. To, yeah. Locked up with the Europa League. <laughs> mm, sadly. But we're not here to talk about the football, whether that be domestic competitions or European competitions. We are here to talk about Next Gen by JL. And last week, Sky Scout qualified on pole position in the Chevrolet, but had an abysmal race finishing in seventh. Our eventual race winner was season two champion Yasko Kirill, with Oscar finishing in second place. It's round four, obviously, of the championship tonight. Five to go before the end of the season in this much juice calendar, obviously, due to the release. Oh, F124 coming very soon indeed. Tim, what did you make of the release, uh, the reveal trailer earlier this week? Um, I honestly did not spend too much time watching it. I mostly just focused on the features that was published, but I'm looking forward to it. I think we, I think we all are really. I, if it's made by the developers of F122, who are in turn the developers basically for F1 2020. It has the potential to be a good game, and then it has the potential to be very bad, which is what we've heard from the beta testers so far. I'm beta testing the game a week before it comes out, so you might get a little bit of input from myself. You might not. I don't want to break the NDA as a, as a certain individual has been going around saying over the past week and threatening people with legal action. We'll leave it at that. Uh, just a quick reminder of the results from last week's race in Austria, released only 20 minutes ago due to... Uh, Various technical issues that Tim you faced uh, in the last week. Yeah. Yasko won the race by uh, nine seconds from Oscar in second in the Europol. Artem finished on the podium in the above. Nikon Marcus Razai Bottas lit with Domi and Zomzed rounding out the top ten in the area of T Mobile, AFY, even Chevrolet, Europol, Toms and Yaz Heat cards, respectively. Sam Rose finished down in eleventh with the fastest up. After putting on a very valiant defense for most of the Grand Prix, Vic in 12, Super Supida 13, Bath Destroyer in last four in 14. The two retirements, Alexander Delnick in the Ducati and Kajuba in the AFY Evening car. And the driver of the day award went to Oscar. Yeah. Any, uh, yeah, go on. Yeah, Oscar, Oscar, well, he had a bit of a chaotic. He started at the front, fell back to the back, and then drove back up to the front, of course. Yeah, here is the championship standings then after round four, uh, round three, I may say. Uh, Bottas leads it by eight points from Yasko Kirill, the two former championship winners in this league. Eight points separated between those two. Bottas with a second, a first, and a seventh. Yasko with a second and a first. Oscar is third in the Europol car on 34 points. Marcus and Nikon separated by one point on 25 and 24, respectively. Bath Destroy, Litwa, Artem, Tisley, and Razart round out the top 10 with Zomzad, Super Survivor, Nibbles Biscuit, Domi, Tokchene, and Oxagrav, the only drivers with points. The rest of the field still yet to score in the Nikon Constructors Championship. Chevrolet leaders by nine points from Europol. PHM are in third with Ducati three points behind them. RUF T-Mobile seven points behind Ducati in turn themselves. FY Avian on sixth on 25. Yaz Heat and Abarth locked together for joint seventh on 17 points. Ultratech Toms and Yusk Fierce round out the field on four and two points respectively. All teams have now scored a few championship points as 38% of the season has now concluded. Tim? Yeah, well, in the season, well, almost... I think after tonight's round, we're halfway through the season already, so it's going rather quickly. Of course, it's short. It calendar. is. Yeah, uh, also looking towards tonight's weather forecast in Monza. We are going to get a dry race, which is always a relief. It's going to be mostly clear in Monza tonight uh, with a high of 18 degrees centigrade and a low of 2 degrees centigrade, and it's giving that uh, throughout the night as well. So the residents of Monza and uh, that region will be very happy indeed to know that they will not be rained on tonight, which is always nice. 
Yeah. And well, and well, then I've got some news for you. First time, uh, for tonight, for the first time, we'll see the wildcard driver system be in use. Yeah, Tim, I was actually about to say that. Yeah, I'm going to re um, recap all the news from the last week, actually. Uh, Zom Z is set to return to Scuderia Abarth for Season 5. We'll get all the little lowdown on this from Tim. Maybe he's got a little bit of information that I don't. Uh, after we finish the little news uh, roundup, Dambo has joined PHM AIX Racing for Season 4. And, of course, as you mentioned, the first ever wildcard rider, uh, Clubben, will be racing for uh, JL into Europol competition tonight. Tim. Yeah, well, it's rather interesting to see, of course, a bad car driver to be in use for the first time. And I think it, it's something to look forward to. And other than that, some driver signings. And I think Abarth might be one of the first teams there with a signing for the next season. <laughs> and also, yeah. another news uh, is, of course, that the current team owner of Ducati will depart after this race. This will be his last race in charge. Yeah, and obviously that news was announced uh, last week. We'll head back to that in just a second. Let's take a look at tonight's race attendance. We have 18 drivers officially down to race the Italian Grand Prix at Monza tonight, and they are Valtteri Bottas, Sam Rose, Delnick, Yasko Nico, Marcus Kajuba, Artem Lizov, Oscar Huopis, AMX F1, Tisley, Bob Destroy, Domi, Zomza, Tokshine, Dambo, and Marcel. The uh, only tentative driver, uh, no, we have no tentative drivers, five drivers have declined to race tonight. So, we will not have a full lobby, but very good attendance indeed, wouldn't you say, Tim? Mm. That's for sure, I mean, full lobby, that's, that's quite a lot of drivers, but I think, well, 18 drivers is still quite a bit. So, looking yeah. forward to it, lots of action probably happening. Yeah, and of course we uh, had 16 last week, so it is an improvement. Let's go back to that news about Martin leaving Ducati as team over after this race tonight. The team will be taken over, as we have previously reported, by AMX F1. His swooping changes to the outfit will begin in Season 5 as they will be rebranded as the Porsche Sauber Formula 1 team. Little bit of interesting news, of course. It's good to see the uh, refreshment. It keeps a little bit of continuity in the league as well. And it's also nice to see a change and a little bit of a rebrand. You don't know what it'll bring, new liveries, new drivers, etc, etc. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, we'll see. I mean, Ducati, of course, was already a rebrand, but it's one of the teams that's been more chaotic through their history. That's for sure. I mean, the team was last... Now it's Ducati. Last season, it was Akosia. The season before, it was Akosia. Let me check. It was... If I didn't even drive, I think. Yeah, it, oh, the first seat, yeah, the season before I didn't even drive the seat team, and the season therefore, they think they only participated in two races from the top of my head under the name Porsche. So the circle is going to become complete because it will be Porsche again. Uh, yes, uh, let me see. I'm just looking through my little documents here, and I can't find. Uh, here we go. Yes, right. Let's uh, just take a. A little bit of a short look at the calendar. We have had three races so far this season, three different winners, Flexi and Qatar. Back on the 29th of March, two weeks ago, Bossas won in Japan, of course, last week. It was Yasko who won in Austria. We head to Monza as we begin the second race of the European season. We head to Zandvoort next week, Belgium on the 3rd of May before two final races in Las Vegas on the 24th of May and the final race of the F1 23 era at Silverstone on the 24th of May before F1 24 uh, releases on the 28th of May if you have pre-ordered now uh, and I believe that deal runs until April the 24th and of course the whole release of the game is on the 31st of May the earliest ever release for an F1 game under Codemasters yeah. I'm just going to fact check this, hold on is the deal yeah. up on the 24th? Yeah, at least on PlayStation it is, yeah. Yeah. Well, not to shibber. I mean, thing. Well, of course, just waiting for the race, I think. <laughs>
Look, um, we are a little bit quiet. I'm trying to sort out my equipment. Uh, I have some lovely new gel cooled uh, headphones. There's still the um, the Pulse 3D headphones on the PlayStation, but the um, the ear uh, the ear part uh, was uh, severely worn out, and I have decided to go and get myself some uh, gel cooled versions of those so they won't wear out. Hopefully, and I've also got a padded seat to my chair now, which is. Very nice. Tim, what's your setup like? Um, it's my laptop, my PC, and my microphone, just a uh, physical microphone. And I just got my regular headphones. Yeah, that's always but, nice. Uh, I'm yeah. just looking at this. Um, last week, uh, we did give out the Ben Bucks and Supermarket Sweep Shopper of the Week award, and I'm just going to check if I said that right. I don't think I did. I am going to double check that. We gave that award out last week. Uh, the Ben Buxton Supermarket Shopper of the Week Award, powered by AWS. Uh, Tim, uh, not Tim. Ben has uh, gracefully, uh, graciously, and gracefully edited it in our DM, so I can say it right from now on. That award goes to, I believe, Kujuba, who set a one minute eight point zero nine two last week. So that is. The best award you can probably receive, apart from maybe the World Championship Trophy in this league. Uh, round three's Ben Bucks and Supermarket Shop of the Week award, powered by AWS, goes to the one, the only, Kajuba. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, Tim and I were having a little bit of a discussion in the week about whether we would have stuff overlaid on the stream, because at the moment you're currently looking at a black screen uh, that has been so for the last three races. Now, we have been discussing that, and we have come to the conclusion that Tim is going to put, hopefully, for the next few races, overlay an image of Alancia Stratus. Now, some of you may not be happy with that, so if you do have any suggestions, please put them down in either the live stream chat, please put them in the server so that it will uh, hopefully be reached by myself or Tim, or put them in the comments once the stream has finished. If you watch the full stream, I commend you. You get to see all the juicy little action that we get up to, and I suppose the little bit of banter we had, especially last week with, um, well, if, if you watched last week's stream, then you'll know the banter we got up to with um, Ben, Tim, and myself, but swiftly moving on from that, uh, put your suggestions down below. Will it be the Lancia Stratus for long? Who knows? Hopefully Tim can get that sorted for next week, so you'll be no longer looking at a black screen, hopefully. Yeah, sure. I think the... I think that probably can be sorted next week with just a bit of shortage of time today, but I think it's almost time we can head to the grid park, I believe. Um, I I think so, yeah, and I would I would like to receive an invite as well. So while we wait, we are going to go to grid walk, and Tim's hopefully going to have the lobby set up, and is going to start inviting all yeah, the drivers, I'll qualifying a bit. One making the lobby today, but oh yeah, I, I forgot about that, but that. Uh, the lobby owner will make the lobby. Qualifying will get underway in 15 minutes. Grid walk next. We'll see you in a bit then. And you're very welcome back. This is Storm's Gridwalk for the fourth iteration in Next Gen by JL. It is, of course, the Italian Grand Prix tonight at Monza. The Temple of Speed awaits the 18, potentially 19 drivers. Hopefully we're going to have a fantastic race tonight. Gridwalk 
is uh, on now. Hopefully drivers will be on stage and being able to be interviewed by myself. And maybe if Timothy is willing to ask a few questions as well. Our first driver tonight that we're going to speak to is hopefully going to be Bobo. Well, he's not driving. <laughs> Well, he's in the audience, and like yeah, it's it's yeah. a bit it's a bit of filler. it's a bit of filler until we get here. Yeah, it's a bit of filler until we get to the actual drivers. So, yeah. oh, there we go. Forget Bulba. We are going to talk to uh, last week's runner-up in Austria, Oscar. Sorry, Bulba. He's left. Well, we this is about as good as well as it can. Oh, Oscar, Oscar's mm. yeah, there. Let's go and talk to you now. Oscar's here. Is it working now? Bobo's back. Talk to you back. Yeah, Oscar. Oscar, there we go. Good evening. Yes, what the fuck? To yes. be honest, like like a stage, I'm pretty sure Oscar's, Oscar's gone. Yeah, I'm, I'm not... He's, he's not... seem to be able to... Get properly joined. Maybe talk to me, give him a try. Yeah, that's that's good. Let's see if he's willing to talk. That would be fantastic no. if you were. Yeah. Yes, there we go. Hello, talk to me. Oh, well, that talk to me. Are you there? Yeah, okay. no. Maybe club him? Oh, well, Please, I, oh, I, well, beg. I beg. I beg. Oh, Oscar Please. can start now, so if Cladden doesn't want to, we'll... We'll get Oscar. Uh, we'll just right, talk to us my problems. Cladden has the fine, so we will get Oscar back. Yeah, yeah, what's up? You know, honestly, at this age, you are probably getting very sick of hearing my voice every Friday and Saturday. <laughs> nah, to be honest, I don't mind it, really. How are you, mate? So, go on with the question. Right, then, let's get going. Uh, second place last weekend. Very good result in Austria. You've got two races in two days at Monza. Is this good preparation, or is this the big league you're focused about tonight? It's a magnificent preparation for two races in a row to be at Monza, and two leagues, which I'm, like, mostly practicing. It's fabulous. It's great. What's this track like to drive around? It's a shit track. Um, either one mistake, you're into the barriers. Turn one is carnage. Yeah. 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 Um, apologies for the language there. Uh, second last week. Can you finish on the podium this weekend, or is a modest top five your ambition? Um, I yeah, I always want to finish first, but we'll see after qualifying and see the pace of the opponent's drivers. We'll see if. The Ducati drivers will drive well if the Chevrolet. We'll see. So I can't predict where I will finish. But of course, I want to win. Well, uh, gracias, Oscar. And we will hopefully talk to you after the race. Muchas gracias, señor. Uh, the interesting fact about Oscar is uh, during last season's Turbo Racing League uh, race at Monza, he was running in third, I think, and then bended into the wall. So hopefully that's not going to repeat himself. He's not going to repeat himself doing that tonight. But we are going to get a word with Bath Destroyer. Hopefully. Hello? There we go. Good evening, Bath Destroyer. Hi. Uh... Okay, 14th last week, did qualify in 4th. It was a pretty dismal race last week. But do you think you'll be able to up the ante a little bit in Monza? Um, I think maybe a top 10, maybe top 5 on the cards. I can't, I've not done any practice because this isn't my main league and I've got a cold, so... Um, I don't know how that will affect my performance, but... You know, I'm just hoping to be competitive out there again for PHM and try and get them the most points. Is the cold serious? Are you okay? Are you struggling? Um, I was worse yesterday, um, but I'm, I'm slowly recovering. Um, yeah, um, yeah. Well, yeah, well, that's obviously very good to hear that you're um, on the mend, I suppose. 
Uh, top five, top ten is what you're thinking of tonight. What do you think PHM are going to be able to do this weekend, apart from you? Um, well, we've got a new sign, we've got Damba Bannon, which uh, I know, um, uh, I know, but not in this form of uh, league racing. Um, but I've, 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 I think I've only raced with him in F1 league racing about once. Um, I think. I think he has the pace to get in the lower top ten. He's definitely not what we used to have in Flexi, but, you know, it's good to have a teammate again, at, at least. It's good to have two drivers there, and uh, we're going to do our best for the team. Thank you very much for the story, and we'll wish you the best of luck. Hopefully speak to you after the end. Thank you. Yeah, of course, Flexi was uh, sacrimoniously dumped. By PHM after what happened in Japan a few weeks ago. Let's see who we have remaining on stage. We have Clubben and uh, we have Bulba. We will hopefully, if we can, talk to Clubben. But before we do so, we do have a little bit of team news from the next gen by JL Commentary Box. AFY, also known as another F1 YouTuber, will be joining us in the box tonight. Tim, can you give us a little update on that? Thank you all, Jennifer, for the commentary itself. So. It's always nice to have yeah. three in the box. And yeah. Hopefully I'm going to get an invite at some stage. I haven't received any notifications. I'll keep refreshing. But yeah. hopefully Clodden will be the next driver to join us. Invites will be out soon. It's a bit later. But be. Yeah, just like this league. and We, we don't like to be on time, do we? Uh. Hmm. Clodden, if you are willing to talk, please announce yourself. If you are not, then we will move on and we will try and get something sorted. Let's see. There, we go. there we go. Perfect. Right, invites are coming out now and I am in, being invited to the lobby and I'm now joined. So that's my spot guaranteed for a little bit. Um, let me see. Yes, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Right, Marcel is hosting the lobby tonight. The, the glorious. Is he glorious? Maybe, maybe not. That's just what I've coined for him. What would you say to that, Tim? Is Marcel glorious? Uh, yeah, probably is. I mean, he won it last season, so. <laughs> he did? Yeah, he did. <laughs> You love to see it, I suppose. Um, let me think here. Think yes, uh, we can actually reveal what another F1 YouTuber is eating tonight. It is meatballs. Well, okay, that's like useless info, info, but thanks anyways. It's something that can fill out the show a little bit, I think, yeah. while we're waiting to go. Yeah, I think we might just head out soon. And then we'll see you back then in a bit for the race commentary. Well, well qualifying commentary. Yeah, is. well, a race and qualifying, but in the commentary box. Yeah, we'll be back in a few minutes.
And welcome back. It has been in quite a few minutes, but we have been sorting up our commentary box, and I am very happy to say that we do have a fair commentator in the box tonight. It is the wonderful another F1 YouTuber joining myself and Tim this evening. AFY, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty fine. I mean, I'm doing even better considering that I've been invited for like I haven't really done a commentary since last season, which is also quite nice and. And side note, I am still season one champion, even though I have no wins. So, yeah, to you. Even better than Keke Rosberg. Anyway, qualifying for the Italian Grand Prix round four, season four of Next Gen by JL is on the way. Three men in the commentary box, ready to give it their best shot and ready to uh, deliver you some entertainment for the next, uh, how long? We'll say 65, 70 minutes, hopefully. It's going to be a lot of fun. Qualifying on the way next. Yeah, that's... We're currently looking to have 15 drivers, I think. Decent Still a enough. decent number. Yeah. The countdown is the most agonizing part of this. And finally, it ends. It is dry in Italy, specifically in Monza tonight which means we're going to get lovely conditions for both qualifying and the race. And there you go, it is lovely and clear. Welcome along then to round four qualifying for the Italian Grand Prix. It is season four of Next Gen by JL. Three races down, three different winners. Hopefully we are going to see another cracking Grand Prix here tonight. I'm Mr. Storm. Joining me in the commentary box is AFY and of course, Tim. Good evening to you both gentlemen. Here we go again, Good evening. Tim. Good evening. Like, we'll just, I think the first car is now heading out. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we do. We have well, first uh, car, basically. The first car is already. We've got a couple cars heading out on track. Yeah, we do. It's we have Cuba. a Kajuba in the Union Jack. Yeah, Kajuba in the Union Jack car coming down towards <laughs> the uh, first chicane. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got to correct you on that car. It's not the Union Jack car, it's the Evian car, but because it looks like a Union Jack, I might as well just let you say that. <laughs> we've been, we, well, I mean, mate, we've been calling it that since Qatar, so, like... I wasn't even yeah. in the, the commentary box. I mean, I wasn't even yeah. listening to the stream in Qatar, so... You need to be watching the streams. You need to be keeping up with all the lore, anyway. Oh, yeah, Cuba I watched, is... I, I watched the Japan race. That was mental. Yeah, <laughs> we, we all know why that was. And he's crashed on my way. <laughs> Aside from that, yeah. So out of the fifteen drivers, we have Sky Scrub, ba ba I can't even say their names. Bath Destroyer, Cludden, Tisley, Tesh, Nikon, Cuba, Zoms, Dambo, Macken, WTF Freak, uh, Krill, Yasko, Domi, S Salma, and Artem. <laughs> Salma. I don't know their names. The, I'm not oh, right. come on. Oh. Surely. Well, there's no, there's Marcus, so. There's McCann, so. Right then, um, just to interrupt that, Kajuba is about to start his first qualifying run in the Union Jack car, coming down the long, long front straight, 8th gear, 300 kilometers an hour, starting his lap and then activating the DRS. There he goes. Opens the rear slot on his rear ring. Cars exiting the pit lane on that right hand side of the track, but he's gone past a PHM down in towards the first chicane. Third gear in this first, just goes down into second and then back up into third gear on the A's. A lovely run there for the man in the Union Jack car as he comes down to where Alonso battled Vettel in 2011 and down that longest straight where Vettel battled. Ricardo in 2014 into the Retrofilio he comes at the first sector split a 26.599 into the left and then into the right third gear for both parts make sure that you don't lose the car on the exit small bit of pickup of gravel there as he comes into Lesmo 1 in sixth gear then down the short little straight and then into Lesmo 2 big moment for Kajuba just about keeps his lap time validators activates the DRS coming out of Lesmo 2 activates that rear wing slot for the second time on this lap down under the bridge, which of course led to the old oval on this track, then down into Ascari, 54.667 in the middle sector, through Ascari, through the left, the right, and then the left again, and then it's down the long back straight, 8th gear, 300 kilometers an hour, until he comes into the final corner named after the vice champion of 1985, Big Michele Alboreto, 6th gear, through Alboreto, 210 kilometers an hour, rising up through the gears and putting his foot flat to the floor. Up to the line comes Kajuba in the Union Jack car, and it's going to be a 1 minute 21.276, Tim. Wait. Yeah, well, see. 
it's a slight lip, I think, but loads of drivers will be to, to improve it, especially with him going off there. It's not gonna be that crazy to improve it, I think. There goes Tesla, Tesla goes way quicker, two seconds quicker, yeah. then it's over a second quicker there for Bart Destroyer. Cluddle yeah, Cluddle yeah. The wild card. The third there. The wild card driver there. Uh, Domi, mm. yeah, goes into fourth there, one minute 21.192. AFY, what's it like to master this track? Skyscape oh, Sky goes, quick. goes quickest. I it mean, does. personally, if you want to master this track, you first got to just get the braking points right. Because you've got the first corner, you've got the exit coming out of turn four, you've got that little left right hander, and obviously every corner is just... You've got to be so careful around this track. I mean, it's the fastest track on the circuit, don't get me wrong. But you always got to have the right amount of downforce. You always got to have the right kind of brake bias. Because if you don't have the right one, you're just going to slide off, I'm, I presume. I know that from a couple of races I've done here. But uh, aside from that, everything looks fine. This is the first bit of quality. Um, the only drivers who haven't really set a lap are... Uh, Whatever their names is. Tokshne, Dam yeah, uh, Tokshne goes into third there. Sorry to interrupt, AFY. Mm, Tokshne yeah. goes third and in the PHM card. Damba goes into fourth. Zomz has well, Zomz retired. Is out the right. Zomz is out. Uh, Zomz is out. Yeah, um, just, uh, yeah, just down the back straight into um, Lesmo 2, it looks like. M might have lost the card coming out of Lesmo 1 there. Oh, Tokshne goes into fourth. Dambo no fifth. Mm. My man Marcel. has no love. Marcel, in the meantime, he's getting a slipstream from his teammate there. Look at that wonderful team play there of the Chevrolet. As Marcel Oliver Freak now goes through the last corner onto the main straight, what can he put down? It's P4. Only P4, despite the slipstream. Maybe it was a messy map, but... It that... was, um, however, it was a purple mo uh, final sector, though, so that tow did obviously help Marcel a little bit. As he goes into fourth, the Chevrolet is occupying first and fourth up on the grid so far. First runs over, the only drivers not to set times. Uh, TTV not marking and season two champion and winner last time at Yasko Kirill. Twelve minutes to go. Season three champion. I have to correct you there. Yeah. Season three champ. So we have. It's, it's the season two champion. This as well. That's yeah, WTL Skyscrap. Isn't it? Skyscrap is oh, wait, Skyscrap. No. Skyscrap. Skyscrap. Oh, Skyscrap. So you got a, t a, a season two champion, a season three champion, uh, and I'm currently sitting on the sidelines like Rosberg. But aside However, from that. However. However, though, we do have all four champions in the lobby. Uh, oh, hold on. Yeah, all three champions in the lobby tonight. Um, and currently, our alleged fourth world champion, our provisional fourth season world champion is Skyscap. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick reminder of the driver's championship. If I can find my phone, where, where is my I phone? I think Clan is putting down another flyer, maybe. Yes, yeah, go out the pits. As he's going through the last corner, but he looks to be putting down another flyer the way he's driving. And I think I he found is. my phone. And I have does improve to P9 now. Yeah, I found my phone. We are just going to have a little bit of a rundown through the championship standings before we get into the main event. If my phone would like to load, that would be absolutely fantastic. And in the meantime, uh, me it's see. Oscar starting another fly, it seems. And Yasko is out of the pits, finally. Uh, the only person to not have set a lap is Macken, which... And Yasko, Kiro, yeah. Well, Yasko has come out of the pits, so... Still yeah, he hasn't set, a, hasn't set a lap, though. Still, yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just a, a quick reminder of the championship standings. Boss has leads on 51 points after three races. Yasko is in second on 43. Oscar and Marcus and Nikon occupy the rest of the top five on 34, 25, and 24 points, respectively. Bath destroys in sixth from the PHM. Litwa, Artemis of Tisley, and Razak round out the top 10. Zomzed, Super Subida, Nibbles Biscuit, Domi, Tokshne, and Oxograv the rest of the drivers with points. The rest of the field have either failed to score or have been disqualified from the drivers' championship. If you know who I'm talking about, then yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mackim's at the pits, so they're both on their out laps now. Plus Skyscrap, uh, Bath Destroyer, Nikon, and that's about it really. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oscar. So Oscar... To come his left, yeah. Yeah, coming out of Alboreto, their fifth gear, um, a decent line through that final corner, up to the line. Is it going to be an improvement to maybe take him into second place? It is by two yeah. tenths of a second. Sort One minute, 19.345. Really Constructors Championship, I just um, forgot to run through that. Chevrolet do lead it by nine points from the Europol drivers and PHM in third. Ducati are in fourth, are you of T-Mobile, followed by AFY Evian, Abarth, Yazheat, Ultratech, Toms, and Yusk Fiat. All 11 teams of points. And of course, this is the final race 
for the owner of Ducassi. Uh, uh, hold on, let me just get that up. Yeah, Martin, who is uh, resigning as owner of Ducassi after this race. The team will be taken over by AMX. Uh, over to you, AFY. I mean, there's not really much for me to say, except um, yes, Yasko has started his flying yeah. lap. He started his lap. Um, Macken is still kind of just cruising. I mean, he's not going to have any slipstream. That's going to ruin his performance. Um, it seems like almost every driver is out on a lap now, except... Yeah, I'm just yeah, in, just yeah, to interrupt yeah, there, uh, yes, goes to Borsha's his lap. Yeah, he had a big moment out of the Rechefilio there. Uh, he did say in, in the build-up to qualifying that he has been setting very decent lap times, but he's not in harmony with the car. So maybe that will not affect him too much. Maybe it will. It looks like he hasn't got off to the best start, though. He has aborted his first flying run. He will be back, and I'll take you through his lap. Tim, what have you noticed? I think, well, something pretty interrelated, but... He is running a special livery as it's the last livery, their home race and the last race for Martin. Martin, I don't know what you want to call him, but he. Uh... Martin, v Martin Vidaga, if you know, you know. Anyway, coming out of Alvarezza comes Yasko, who aborts his uh, second run entirely and goes into the pits. Makan is coming through Lesmo 1 set of 26.383 in the first sector down in towards Lesmo 2 in fifth gear 185 kilometers an hour rising up through the gears and putting his foot flat to the floor as he comes down the back straight in towards Ascari onto the Lenovo advertising banner which leads onto the old part of the Autodromo Internazionale Monza 53.539 in the middle sector as he comes through Ascari through the left the right and then the left again and then coming down the long final back straight of the lap as before he comes to Alboreto corner. Make sure you get a perfect run through here, breaking at just the 50 meter board. Hug it nice and wide to the curb on the outside. Sixth gear, 250 kilometers an hour. And he's got a perfect run. Will it be any good from Makan? He slots himself into sixth, a one minute 20.069. Ooh, smooth. Oh, Considering no slipstream, that's still pretty smooth. And so far, I believe in Talk Let me just get up also. my stats for qualifying, so... Uh, Tokchine um, has just improved <clears throat> his lap to go into fourth air. Uh, currently, Skyscap cannot be stopped at the moment. Yeah, Oscar is on a out lap. He is. Are there stats for qualifying, or they do they not exist yet? They do. They do, I believe. Uh, mm. Cuba is eight tenths up on his second run. He set a woman at 21.276. In the first run of the session in the Union Jack car, it does look like it's going to be a considerable improvement as he comes up towards the line. It's only good for 13th, though, a 1 minute 20.588. One and a half seconds behind provisional pole man Skyscap Oscar on a flying run. Well, not on a flying run, on an outlap. He will be on a flying run in a few moments' time. But I think so I saw someone off the track, but I can't. Oh, it's Dokchine. Dokchine went off and he's missing his front wing. I don't know what happened to him, but. It's not too great. No, See. I don't think losing your front wing at all would be great, especially if it's um, coming towards the end of qualifying. Six minutes to run. Oscar is going to start potentially his penultimate or final flying run, depending on what happens. Takes a interesting line as he has pit. And I'm not sure what's happened there. So Oscar's aborted his, for his um, potential final, final flying run and Ooh. has decided to go back into the pits. I'm not sure what's happened. But we will probably get intel on it as soon as we can. Tokchne coming into the pits. Artem coming into the pits as well. Uh, Cuba coming into the pits as well. The outlaps starting to rack up. The final runs going to begin in a few moments time. Still qualifying hangs in the balance. Everything does look smooth so far for some drivers. Um, although some people within you know, the top 10 still feel like they need to get uh, another lap in. Yasko needs to get a lap in. Domi needs to get a lap in. Cuba, one of my drivers, needs to get a lap in. Zoms can't get a lap in. and <clears throat> Well, um, so standings of qualifying right now. So, Skyscrap leads uh, with a 119.0. Then the gap is three tenths to second, five tenths to third, fourth, fifth, sixth, to fifth, fourth, and fifth, nine tenths to sixth, one second to 7th, to 11th, and 1.5 to 13th, and 2.1 to 14th. So we're going to have to see how that looks afterwards. 
for you. Nikon, Nick Lying Run starting to pile up. Clutton has decided to pit as well. So he will go again. Yasko is on a flying run. Let's take you through it. Into turn three, he comes sixth gear, seventh, and then finally into eighth. 80% 80 of his battery left. He's depleting that by the second. 320 kilometers an hour down that back straight. 26.399 in the first sector. Has to get it perfect this time. Unlike what he did in his first flying run, he has got it right into Lesmo 1. Flicks into it in fifth gear, 205 kilometers an hour into sixth, and then just about into seventh before dropping it back into fifth again, staying around 200 kilometers an hour. Activates the DRS on the back straight, opening the rear slot on his rear wing under the bridge, which leads to the old track. And at the middle sector split, Miasco sets a 52.741. The game does say it's purple, and I would like to believe it because he has been absolutely saying he is going to have blistering pace this cool weekend. Up so far. Down the back straight, then coming in towards Alvarez onto that Rolex advertisement banner. Eighth gear, 330 kilometers an hour. Into the final corner he comes. If gear through the first part of Alboreto, then rising up through the gears and putting his foot flat to the floor. Will it be provisional pole for our winner from last time out? No, he pits. What on earth is he doing? What on earth is he doing? We are yet to understand the logic behind his means. Tisley is on an outlap as well. Uh, Cuba uh, has probably a. Uh, Cuba's on a flying lap, sorry, and Domi is as well. Domi coming up towards that middle sector split. Uh, he might be gear. doing a last to first challenge, you never know. <laughs> that would be very, that would that'd be quite unwise. Uh, Domi two tenths up in That's the first sector. Yeah. Cuba in the middle sector is three tenths off as well. So Domi and Cuba not improving. Both drivers having an absolutely abysmal qualifying session. Oh, and Cuba has lost almost. it. He's crashed. And he has, yeah. Cuba's out. Cuba has crashed out of qualifying after a big incident at Ascari. <laughs> And his dismal qualifying continues. Well, I think we know what's going to happen in the next couple of races. Domi with a marge, <laughs> Domi with a marginal improvement stays in 14 form at a 20 point 933. But here comes Tisley then on potentially his fl final flying run in this session. He is five tenths off provisional pole position. He needs an absolutely monstrous lap to have any chance of getting on that front row and stealing provisional pole position from championship leader Skyscap into the first chicane. He comes second gear in the second part, 130 kilometers an hour, rising up through the gears and putting his foot flat to the floor. In towards turn three, he comes obviously keeping that foot pressed down to the floor of that carbon fiber monocoque at the first sector split. He is 70 thousands off his personal best. Not the start he would have wanted through the second chicane of the lap. It does look like it's a good run. Maybe could have applied more power to the car, but you never know what his meaning is. Through the first Lesmo fifth gear, does run a little bit wide. His lap time hasn't been invalidated, interestingly enough. Through the second Lesmo small kick of Oster as he activates the rear slot in his rear wing and activates that drag reduction system. We'll have a small bit of toe from drivers in front of him. At that middle sector split, he is one tenth up. It wouldn't be enough for provisional pole position, but it might well be enough for second place, depending on how well he does it. Has had a small moment, though. Has invalidated his lap, and that might well be game over for Tisley in qualifying. Artem's also on a flying run. He's in a massive moment. And Artem, his qualifying run, his potential last qualifying run, has gone to the absolute dumpster as Skyscap's coming up towards the middle sector split, and Oscar, ready to start his final flying run, will take you through it. Oscar out of Alboreto, he comes down that first front straight, 100 metres away from the DRS, activates the rear slot on his rear wing, and away he goes on his final flying run. He knows that this has to be perfect. He knows this has to be the best lap he has put together all season if he wants to challenge Skyscap for provisional pole position. Skyscap coming down in towards Alboreto now, but we're not going to focus on him for a little bit, we are focusing on Oscar, who finished second last week in Austria. Coming down towards the first sector split, flat out through three, 320 kilometers an hour. At the first sector split, he is 56 thousands of a second up, and that is a decent enough start. That will give him a little bit of inspiration. Oh, he spun! And he's out. Oh, dear. This is weird. His, 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 his left rear wheel is off, and it's qualifying all for him. Obviously. Yeah, what on Chile, earth happened there? WTF, I think it's also end of qualifying, and Domi as well. So next person who is on the fly is Ma is Ma Marquez, Marquez, no Marcus. Well, at the first sector split, Skyscap 24 thousandths of a second up. Yasko Kirill on his final flying run 26-2 in the first sector. Skyscap with a big moment there. Out of the chicane, Domi has retired. Skyscap still not going to abort that flying lap through the first Lesmo he comes sixth gear then down into the second yeah. Lesmo he comes 150 meters away from Marcus. the DRS big moment again in me it's Marcus about to cross the line here what can he put on it's P3 massive lap. I can P3 let's go
It's Sky Scap at the middle sector split. One tenth down. Yasko Kirill at that middle sector split. 52 4. It is a purple middle sector. Into Ascari comes our race winner from last weekend, tailing behind our championship leader what, from most of this out? season. Well, after story goes then, into seven, Sky Scap will not pick up any toe. Into then, the final corner comes the championship leader. It won't matter for much, though. Sky Scap has a. Not, not aborted his up. He will go to the line. Is it an improvement? Yes, it is. Just by about half a tenth. Yasko to the line. Pole. Pole position. Yasko Kirill qualifies on pole position for the Italian Grand Prix. And he said he would do this all week long. And he has delivered on his promise and has gotten pole position for the fourth race of the season. And that is a massive moment in this championship fight. The championship leaders one and two on the grid. Tim. Oh, an exciting level of course, amazing for Jasko, last race under the team owner, home race for the team as well, and to put down such a lap, that's just, must be a great feeling there. It was a very smooth lap from Jasko, he knows what he wants to do, he wants to win this race, and it seems like from that pole position, he's pretty much done the D, but it's only 50% done, he's got to finish the rest in the main race. Let's just hope we don't get taken out of first corner. Here is your qualifying order then for an absolutely brilliant, hopefully going to be brilliant, Italian Grand Prix. Yasko Kirill qualifying on pole position after winning last time out in Austria. Skyscap occupies the rest of the front row with him. A 1 minute 18.950 for the championship leader. Uh, Oscar and Makan on the second row. Uh, Tisley and Tokshane fifth and sixth. Marcel, Bath, Destroyer, Nikon and Artem. There's off round at the top ten. Amber Club and Zomzed and Kajuba are down to 14th. Domi rounds out the grid in 15th with a 1 minute 20.933. Race 4 off ace in season 4 of Next Gen by JL. The Italian Grand Prix is next. And hopefully we get the results for this one. We did get the results for last for the last race, but they were a little bit late because of da 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 Oh, I didn't notice that actually. I'll have a look right now. Well, a very good afternoon, oh, not very good afternoon to you, might be afternoon in the game, but a very good evening to you all. It is round four of eight in this season four of Next Gen by JL. It is the Italian Grand Prix from the circuit, the Internazionale Monza, the Autodromo di Monza, a staple of the Formula One calendar since the very beginning. Nothing quite like the Temple of Speed. I'm Mr. Storm. Joining me in the commentary box this evening is Tim, and joining me in the commentary box as well, special guest returning for the first time in a while, I suppose, is the one Season one champion, AFY. <laughs> I just have to show that often. Please, please do, please do not big yourself up. That will not go well for you, AFY. I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, yeah. Lovely to have you here this evening, gentlemen. We are aiming <coughs> for 27 laps a fast-paced, exhilarating racing around the Temple of Speed. Tim, what's this race been like in next-gen history? Uh, it's been a combination of exciting racing and chaos. Mostly chaos, but... The most chaos happened in the past couple of races in the terms where you don't expect things to go wrong. One. The formation lap is underway and Yasko Kirill will get us underway. Slow start from Skyscap in the Chevrolet car. I've just noticed that. Let's take a look at what compound attire the grid will be starting on. And it is very mixed indeed. Most of the field opting for the medium tyres. But our pole man Yasko Kirill is on the Red Bull soft compound tyre. His equal on the front row Skyscap on the mediums. Oscar completes the front three on the hards. Makan is on the softs. Tisley on the mediums. Tokshane on the slots before everyone from Marcel down to Clodden from 7th to 12th on the mediums. The field rounded out by Zomzed on the softs. Kajuba on the hards in the Union Jack car and Domi rounding out the fields on the soft compound tyre. 27 laps to come. This is the formation lap. This is round 4 of 8 of Next Gen by JL. Tim. What? Well, I'm looking forward to the race. It's just everyone's warming up the tyres. A bit more track exploring before they'll get into the race, but who do you guys think will win this race? That's the big question now. Oh, I'll go I'm... first. I'll go first. Uh, I think, um, look, it's close between the front two, but maybe Oscar can spring a surprise, but I will be cautious, and I will go with Yasko Kirill to win this race. My second choice would be Skyscap, because they have been two equally brilliant drivers this weekend so far. AFY. You know, I'm hoping Macken wins, but, you know, he's put, he's put some good performance on in quality. Um, but I will say... I feel like the soft runners, they've made a mistake. The ones from the back, they haven't, no. But the ones at the front, I don't think it's a very great idea. But 
I think maybe Skyscrap or WTF3 might pull something off. You know, I've seen good performances from both of them in the past, so you never know. Maybe even R10, maybe. And also, fun fact, this was the preseason race for Season 1. Just thought I'd pull that out. That is true. Is that, I, I think I think Skyscrap will see me qualifying. He had a couple of moments and just missed out on pole position. I think he, with if he can keep up that pace and consistency, he'll be in. It could be just an easy win for him. Oscar, uh, sorry Tim, but Oscar has been disqualified. So that's a major uh, hindrance for his stop. We are ready to go for the Italian Grand Prix round four of eight. The grid ready to form up. This league has had history uh, in the past. Chaos at this race. And we are almost ready to go to, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, and five red lights for the Italian Grand Prix. Who will be our winner at the Temple of Speed? Lights out, no way we go, and it's a good stop by Yasko Kirill. It's not the best stop from Skyscap, who looks like he will be jumped by TTV Makan in the Union Jack car. Tokshne racing behind them in fourth, Tisley in fifth, Marcel, Oscar, oh, big contact! Skyscap! Skyscap around Domi! Skyscap around Domi out of the race, chaos of the opening lap! As uh, Tisley have reversed into the um, into the Armco barrier there, but Yasko Kirill has had the start he needed. Oscar's in second, Marcel and third, Artem Lizov, Artem Lizov, and we Artem. have a virtual safety car. Virtual safety car on chaos at the start in Monza. It was chaos because Domi was retired before the race even started. I saw that. And the uh, the virtual safety car has been upgraded to a full safety car. So already That's we have wild. chaos. We have chaos, we have drama, and we have two drivers out of the race before we have even concluded the first lap. Yasko Kiro with the perfect start. Oscar is in second, re uh, replicating his position from last week. Marcel in third in the Chevrolet car. Dambo in fourth, along with TCDB not Mackin in the Union Jack car. Bath Destroyer is in the second. PHM in sixth. Kajuba, Cludden, Skyscrap, the championship leader. Nikon round out the top ten. Tokshane, Tisley, and Zomzed all at the back. Everyone, except maybe Yasko, was involved was not or was involved may i say in that opening lap carnage tim well, lots of chaos i mean it's yes yes go ahead of course oscar got through rather smoothly as well he did yeah and, and master also jumping to positions but sky all the way down in ninth he of course got hit there in the first turn marcel pits marcel pits early marcel on so maybe pitting. marcel um maybe mm. marcel sustained a little bit of damage in the chevrolet car we will see what uh his picker are going to do. Bath Destroyer has immediately picked up a five second time, time yeah, passing. Yeah, and it will Cuba be a full front wing change. Yeah. Cuba, up Cuba up to fifth. Cuba up to fifth. Now, on the hard player. Oh, so I've got confirmation from Domi saying the game would not let him race, which is uh, uh, it's a bit of a shame, honestly. I, um, as AFY, I think that's because he disconnected after qualifying. Both of the Chevrolets, Pitt, Skyscrap, and Master oh. coming out in ninth and tenth. Yasko Kira leads, but AFY, what have you made at the start? Pretty average Monza start. Um, I think that Zoms has a broken front wing and damaged side pods, so he's going to have an absolute stink of a race. Um, but the start itself was pretty good. Um, Yasko got away well. There was no chaos at the front, I don't believe, so it's pretty smooth, I guess. I mean, you've Plus, got my, uh... I mean, two of my teams, P4 and P5. That's good yeah. so far. Possible race strategies if you're starting on the soft, you'll be pitching around lap 11 to 13. If you're on the mediums of the hards, you'll obviously be pitching a few laps after that. I didn't get the specifics because I was trying to listen to you, AFY, and I couldn't actually say it because the graphics sadly disappeared. Hopefully, it'll come up at some stage during the rest of the race. However, I heavily doubt it. We will probably be going around for one more lap under virtual Burn Mylander in the Mercedes Benz safety car, which you can drive in F1 23, which is arguably a very sad fact to say. Why on earth did Co-Masters get rid of classic cars? I do not know. Lap 2 of 27, about to go into lap 3. We are immediately under safety car conditions due to a pretty normal Monza start, as AFY said. A dramatic and hectic opening lap has led us to go under virtual burn Mylander conditions. Lap 3 about to begin, Tim. Yeah. You know there's going to be some drop revive replay at the end of the season about that. Yeah, that's for sure. Me. Well, lot, lots happening. Skyscap, I just had a confirmation. Skyscap has got slight floor damage, and Zomzi has got a lot of floor damage, so... Yeah, I, don't I mentioned that previously. To be honest, I don't think Zomzi will be able to get something done today. Zomzi, I mean, I don't know if you're going to listen to this, but if you're having a stinker in your current team, 
Don't worry, I've got a free spot. Don't worry, you won't get any damage because I'm made out of titanium. <laughs> very, very uh, interesting there. Um, what I've noticed from the start is that Yasko is obviously going to be thanking his lucky stars because he will be able to nurse those softs for a little bit longer than what he might have been able to do had we been under racing conditions. And he should probably lead away from the restart as well with him. Sada, or Oscar, sorry, on the hards, Dambo on the mediums, and uh, Makan, the next driver, on the softs in the Union Jack car. But Yasko does lead after having a pretty perfect getaway, we have to say. He had, he had a fantastic Scott. Sky got bogged down slightly, and that's probably the main benefactor to why he was involved in the carnage at turn one, because a lot of cars were trying to A, get past him, and Tran were jostling for position. Will the safety car come in at the end of the lap? We are about to find out. It doesn't look like it yet, but we might get confirmation in a few corners time to have a virtual burn mine and we'll peel into the pits at the end of the lap. It doesn't look like it though. I don't think the safety car will be in this lap. It's uh, you've got one driver that's all the way at the back, so Yeah, Bath Destroy did pit in that last lap, he's way, way behind him. Thirteenth in the PHM car. Hmm. You know, those PHMs have been quite quick to be fair. They have. They've been quick all season, to be fair. Of course, Nikon won the... Uh, not Nikon, sorry. Um, Flexi won the opening race in Qatar a few weeks ago and obviously got himself he, disqualified. Yeah, and he, from, ruined, he ruined it for yeah. himself. Yeah, obviously. I think that was just down to a complete loss of the head, though, and that's completely his fault for not being able to stomach what happened with the safety car restart. Of course, it was the unfortunate event for what happened at the end of the safety car race started as Marcel pits again. Uh, Marcel's gone on to the medium, so that's two pit stops in the space of uh, four laps so far for the driver that was banned last week because of what happened at that safety car restart in Japan for alleged race fixing. Ooh, I've just seen the crash from Artem. Um, and I've seen that Zom spun in front of him and he got collected. So he was he's, he's trying to ask for a restart, but no. No, sir. No, this isn't season one. Uh, we have a car going off there. Nikon has gone off the track at the Retrofilia there, and I'm not sure what has happened to him, but he has dropped all the way down to 12. WTF Freak is in P13. I, I think he pitted, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, Marcel did pit again. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Maybe he's picked up a little bit more damage than he potentially anticipated, or he just went onto the wrong compound tire. Either way, we should be getting back underway at the end of this lap. Let's wait for the official confirmation from the virtual FIA. Virtual Burn Mylander will be pitting at the end of this lap. lap, and we are ready to go racing again. Lap five will get the Italian Grand Prix back underway. 23 laps to go as Yasko is stuck it in neutral. For whatever reason. Oh no! And... What's up there? No, no, I think he's fine. He went into first, but he is stuck in neutral. Nikon, Nikon has collided with Bath Nelson. Destroyer, uh, and uh, it's starting to get chaotic now because Yasko is in neutral and is not oh, moving out. Red, but now but... he is. Now he is. Okay. I think and he's, he's back in neutral. He's just burning fuel. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Which is understandable. Anyway, he's back up to first gear, staying in first gear. When will he decide to go? Sada is going to have to react. Artem has now left the session. The Italian Grand Prix is ready for its restart. Yasko will lead the field away. Into Alboreto he goes. When will he put his foot to the floor? We are still waiting. We are still waiting. Yasko will get this Grand Prix underway. No, no and we are no. underway for the Italian Grand Prix. Yasko has got a good restart. Sada has reacted quite well indeed. Dambo is in third. Makan is down his inside, coming down in towards turn one in the Union Jack car. But look at the restart that Oscar has got. Trying to go around the outside of Yasko Kirill in towards the first chicane. Small bit of contact made. Yasko trying to hold on. But Oscar has about made the move. But thanks to the soft compound tire, Yasko is on. He will be able to hold the lead coming in towards turn number three and four. But it's not done yet. Oscar will try and get back into the lead. He goes to the inside line using all of his battery into the Retrofilia. They go. He will outbreak Yasko and will take the lead of the Italian Grand Prix. Tim. Oh, amazing restart there for Oscar. He's just uh, got a yellow flag. Uh, Tisley's Macken's got into P3. He made that. He was a beautiful move. I got that on camera. Absolutely beautiful move. Yasko also very staying very close to Oscar and he will probably fly past coming down in towards Ascari. We'll go the long way around, but we'll get the move done before he even gets to the chicane. Yasko leads the Italian Grand Prix again. And Sky Oscar's Scrap very going around the outside. Cuba oh, almost loses the car, but somehow saves it. That was very care uh, careless, but he still made the corner. 
Oscar's very short reign of this, uh, of the leader of this race coming to a very short end. Yasko leads again in a small moment for Oscar as he slightly opens the door for Makan to get into second place and Makan will fight Makan past the Europod car. That's beautiful. And he does set the fastest up as well, 1 minute 23.485. Flying, of course, Oscar on the hard course. Tisley spun again. The... Yeah, Oscar is on a different strategy. You have to keep that in mind. He's on a way worse slower tire. Bath destroying Cuba, fighting for P7 there, and Marcel also entered the battle. In the medium combat tire, small bit of contact made as they head out of the first chicane. Nick on the way, way behind the tent. Of course, he picked up a time penalty. Tisley pits, but Marcus, at the moment it's Yasko Kirill versus Maka for the lead. He for P8, Tisley's and out. he makes that Tisley move stick. Beautiful move there from WTF Freak. And looks like... Yeah, Yasko has allowed to get a little bit in front of Makan. Makan obviously has a lot more battery than Yasko at the moment. 71% to 35%. Makan ah. getting ever closer, coming down in towards Ascari. And Storm, let's not forget, the top two are on softs. The other guys are on hards and mediums, so those tires are going to degrade very, very quickly. So they better pull a gap, and pull that gap they must, because if they don't, they are going to lose those positions. Nikon's out of the race, Nikon's crashed, safety, safety car, safety car. Safety car. What so maybe, there? So maybe the front two can take that opportunity and pit. Maybe the, maybe the top two could do something. But well, no. yes, Yasko will pit, Yasko pits, Makan falls in, Oscar oh, falls in, contact, contact made! Yasko and... get a five second penalty. Yeah, and, and, and it has gone and Mac and chaos lost the in the pits. Yeah, chaos I mean, in the pits there. I think someone lost a bit of a front wing there, and I think it might have been Mac and Yeah, Mac and It oh. might... Oh, it was Mac and No! I mean, to be fair, Yasko did slow down quite a lot, and that was a very late entry into the pit, so we might have to look at that into the stewards. I don't know if that's a penalty or not, crossing the pit Bart entry line like that. Bart the Stray now leading, of course, as he doesn't pit. Is that not a penalty for crossing the line like that? No, I Before don't think so. Should make that a penalty. It's like that in, in most leagues, to be fair. But this is NGFL. But that's a huge game for Macken. Yeah, already, honestly. We're, we're only seven left in, and we've already got four DNFs. That's insane. And we've only had one on that, one on maybe two and a half racing laps, which really which is disappointing. Is... Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. So current standings right now. Cuba P3, Zoms is in fourth despite his it, uh, his interesting car. Yasko P5 because, well, to be fair, he slowed down quite a lot. And I don't know who that uh, green car was. I think it was Saddam Salma, whatever you call it. He overtook. Sa Saddam, Saddam Hussein? Oscar. He means no, Oscar. not Saddam Hussein, no. <laughs> I feel like he pushed McCann a little bit. And McCann then ricocheted into Yasko, which personally I don't think it's his fault, but we're gonna have to have a look at a replay about that. Yeah, but after story does lead this race, Marcel in second in the Chevrolet car. Marcel has had a remarkable comeback actually after being 13 for a while back, after pitting twice in the space of four laps. But Bath Destroyer does lead this race in the PHM. In the Chevrolet in second is Marcel Cuba in third in the Union Jack High Zomzed in fourth after he had an absolutely abysmal qualifying as well. Will any of the front men decide to pit? It doesn't look like it at the moment. Yasko is in fifth. Uh, Yasko pits again. That's interesting. To get his twist to remove the five second penalty. Yeah, and yeah, I have that, just yeah, gone that word. makes sense. I've gotten word that Bath Destroyer apparently deserves a ban because he died from in turn one, made a mess, clipped Zoms, and now Nikon had a five second penalty because of him apparently. But, so yeah, you know. Yasko, yeah, Yasko is getting rid of that penalty, and he goes on to the intermediates, and I'm not sure what that's about. That might be a mistake I on his own Oh my goodness! Is is oh he must have got on the wrong tire. Mistake. Yeah, this is the exact opposite of what happened in YouTuber Championship a while back. Instead of oh they've put dries on, oh they've put intermediates on, and it's gone from bad to worse for Yasko, who is now down in dead last and is now on the wrong compound of tyre and not just on the wrong compound of tyre, the wrong set of tyre because he's on wet tyres on a dry track. I've never seen a strategy like it in my life and probably never will again. Idiocy at its very best. I think... I don't think the safety car is going to be in this lap. I think it's going to be in next lap, but it seems like Yasko's kind of given up. He's going quite slowly. But that's not really the racing spirit we want to see. So I, he just should try and catch up a little bit. 
As a wise Nick A30 once said, uh, never back down, never was. Never give up. There we but, go. Uh, I see what I see what Yasko's doing. He's staying back. Yeah. Because he doesn't want a safety car to go in. But he yeah, doesn't know he might come in. Very wise. Um, Jensen Button didn't give up when he won the four hours of Canada back in 2011. And Yasko yeah. is playing a very strategic game at the moment and will probably be pit back onto maybe the mediums. Maybe he'll gamble and go onto the hards. But that he might could be have been trying choice. to save a new set. He could, have, he, tried to, he could have been saving the tyres for like one extra lap, you never know. I don't know why he'd do that, though. It does seem a little bit of an interesting it choice. It does seem a little bit odd, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that also leaves the question. Maybe he was going to go... Oh, uh, uh, Skyscap Sky Sky in the pits. pits yeah. Skyscap pits. The, um, uh, he's on the maybe, hearts, yeah. yeah, maybe he wanted to pit so he could use those tyres, go on a new set, and then rub it in when he's driving. That could have been a smart idea. Uh, I actually... Skyscap is... Skyscap just stopped on my screen for a few seconds. He goes onto the mediums. Yasko will also go back onto the medium compound tire. It's quite a smart so, idea from both of them. Yeah. Very smart. So, they could so go to the end of the race on that platform. But it would be risky, of course, with probably another safety guard that's bound to come out of this stage. The two championship contenders were at the front of the grid in qualifying back in 10th and 11th. But after Stroy leads in the PHM with Marcel in second in the Chevrolet Cuba. Rounds out the podium in the Union and Jack Carr in third position. Tim. What was this shit happening? We've got, well, we've got like, I think Dempo as well might have, might be able to have a good restart. He's all the way down in eighth, but in on the soft, so he has to make up after the restart. That's, I hope about, I assume about to come. But well, yeah, he has to have a great restart, and I'm not too sure Cuba as well not on eight lap old hearts. Not too sure he. He'll be too happy with these tires right now. Of course, he's in P3. Yeah, it's in this Safety lap. car in this lap, yeah. And uh, Yasko should probably make it back. He yeah. will definitely make it back. Uh, it does look like, though, Bath Destroyer should lead on the restart, unless he has an absolutely abysmal one. Marcel will definitely have a good chance to get back into the lead. The second restart of the Italian Grand Prix is coming up in a few hundred meters' time on this racetrack. The Temple of Speed at Monza. It's given us an interesting nine laps so far. Most of the race under safety car conditions. Hopefully, we're going to get a bit of racing. We will have 18 laps to the end of the Grand Prix. Mr. Storm AFI and Tim in the commentary box this evening. Bath Destroy ready to take us through to the beginning of the third phase of this race. Coming into Alboreto. When will he decide to go? Not taking the strategy that Yasko took a few laps ago. And he is away. Bath Destroy with the perfect restart. As we begin lap 10 of 27 in the Italian Grand Prix. It looks like it's a good restart as well for Marcel. Who will be dragging Bath Destroy all the way down to turn 1. Looks like there's a few jostling of positions going on. Oscar as Oscar there. is racing Zom Z. Yes, yeah, uh, Skyscap has gone past Clodden for P9. Uh, Oscar will dive down the inside. And what a move from Oscar. As he goes from 5th to 3rd in the space of 2 corners. That is sensational. And Zoms is losing positions. Told you it was the car damage. Oscar yeah. from 5th to 3rd, but here comes Marcel. Marcel goes to the inside, and Marcel takes the lead of the Italian Grand Prix, going past Bath, destroying the PHM, who has had a terrible run, and that might allow Oscar to try and force himself past for second place. But the order at the moment, Marcel leads, and Bath, destroying um, Oscar in 3rd, Cuba in 4th, Mark on 5th, Dambo Tokshne, Yasko Kirill in 8th, Skyscap jostling for position with Zomzed for ninth. Small bend of contact made between Oscar and um, Bath, destroyer there. Clodden rounds at the field in 11. Four retirements so far. Here comes Oscar going to go around the outside, down the back, straight into Ascari, and Oscar will fly into second place. AFY. Looks smooth from everyone so far. Oh, there was a bit of contact from both the the AFY cars, I think. I think yeah, there was a here, bit of contact there. Here comes Tokshine as well, flying past one of the Union Jack cars. It's Might have a chance to go past Dambo. Flies into P3. What is this? Oh, contact made on. and Tokshine's round. Tokshine and um, I believe Dumba. that's Dambo have made contact. Yeah, Dambo have made contact at the final corner. And that is absolutely abysmal there. In the meantime, a big moment this in race. Yasko pits. Yasko pits. In the meantime, Bart Destroy flying around the outside down to Cuba, but he doesn't just about make it. And it's Cuba who stays ahead there in P3. Well, he will get the cut back and will fly past Cuba. Cuba has had an awful run there out of the first chicane, oh, and Bath Destroyer will fly past him. Marcel, though, in a commanding lead, Chevrolet on for their second win of the season as it stands, and we are on for our fourth different race winner of the season. Yeah, that would be great, of course. Uh, currently, it's only Oscar who's actually putting up a danger. You know, it's Bath Destroyer. Skyscaps out, Skyscaps out, Skyscaps out, safety car. 
Oh, oh, three cars are out. I think. Sorry. No, 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 they uh, are, no they just two. Just two, yeah. Oh, Zom's yeah. lost his front wing. What's going on? Chaos, that's what. I can't turn up this much, but oh my goodness. Zomzi hit the cars ahead who was just stranded with his front wing, so he got away lucky there. But it's Chaos, and Sky steps out. Championship leader out of the race, and that's his first DNF, I think, in over two seasons. Well, I don't know what happened. I was watching Yasko pit. He's gone up to the hard compound tire, and he has timed that to absolute perfection as he is pit just before the safety car. He is now up to ninth, but our championship leader, Skyscap, is out of the race, and his abysmal last two races continues. Seventh last time out in Austria, and it's a retirement this weekend here in Monza. Six drivers out of the Italian Grand Prix. They are Skyscap, Laftestroy, Nikon, Tisley, Artem, and Domi as the front two pit, and Cuba takes the lead of the race. Oh, I never thought I'd see that, honestly, but, yeah. I think there was contact with Cuba and Macken, the, the two teammates for my team. But, um, aside from that, everyone pits except Yasko, so maybe he's timed that to perfection, but never know. No, he hasn't, actually, because he's okay. quite, he's half a circle, uh, Okay, I'm not kidding, this is the first time Bottas has DNF'd in this league that's two and a half seasons of driving. Wow. And this is the first time he has not finished a race. That is Call insane. him Lewis Hamilton then. 2018 run until he retired until his engine gave way in Austria. And after that, that was a pretty incredible in the Solman Free Championship. Will Skyscap be able to emulate that maybe? We'll see. But Cuba is the only driver who has not taken the opportunity to pit. And he might be under a lot of pressure from Oscar who has jumped Marcel in the pit. So Marcel down from first to third but he's in technically uh, net p2 lap 12 of 27 tim oh not much happening currently quite some bit gaps of course but safety cars of the wood gaps will slow down it's just hoping for a good safety re car restart but cuba is leading on all tires i don't think he, he should be pitting right now uh, right now when he can otherwise he'll just be horrendous at the start Fish out of water, that's what I kind of call it. I feel like he's yeah. going to get jumped immediately out of from the start. And I have gotten confirmation from the contact between the two teammates. Um, apparently he had terrible connect, uh, a terrible FPS and there's a lot of lag spikes happening in the lobby. Which I don't know if that's PCs or if it's just genuine lag from the driver's perspective. So we're going to have to see. Back to you. Yeah, um, it's an AFY car. From a Europol, from a Chevrolet, and then a Yavi Europol, and then a PHM occupy the top five. Half of this race has been spent under safety car conditions, and six drivers have been casualties. In what has been a very chaotic Italian Grand Prix, it's fair to say, as Yasko pits again. This is getting ridiculous now. I mean, to be fair, it is. I mean, I'm glad I'm here to witness it all, but just. Oh, and Yasko's in the pits again! I what said on that, earth yeah. Is... Oh, He's I, on I, is, yeah. It's going on an old set, though. So maybe he was going for a little uh, switchback, maybe, but I don't know. These, I mean, these drivers can just do whatever they want. But standings-wise from the race, so far we have Cuba. I feel like he's going to drop down quite fast. Um, Salma, uh, WTF Freak, uh, Kluden, Dambo, Macken, Zoms, Tekka, Shiasko, and only nine drivers out of 15, which... It's typical Monza. Just put them in Monaco, and we'll just see how many finish. But well, um, <laughs> a long time ago, I think it was, I uh, commentated on the league race at this very track where one driver finished the race. Uh, oh, one is... driver? I yes. Think this is the if... first time you sure that wasn't TRL? Of this yes, it was. It was TRL, yeah. It was TRL, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! It was it race? was a long time ago. It, Who won it? Season yeah, um, uh, AK Monsters. It was season two. It was um, coming towards the. Do you remember that? Um, I think you two might remember the battle between uh, Jenner and um, AK Monsters. Michael and um, uh, uh, AK Monsters crashed into Jenner. It was the other way around, and um, AK Monsters won the race and was the only driver to actually finish the Grand Prix. That was just crazy. Mm. Uh, of course, that was the. Uh, that was the start of the Jambler run as well. That, that, that was a long time ago. Safety car, safety in the car's in the side. What the hell? Immediately. That, that was quick. This and is the Cuba. shortest freestyle I've ever and seen. Cuba gets, Cuba gets, away, gets us underway. 
Well, he has to get underway almost immediately, and Oscar will have the perfect restart and will definitely fly past Cuba. Or maybe he won't coming down into turn one. Cuba trying to break the toe. So Oscar will go around the outside, coming down in towards the first chicane. But will I break his rival and will take the lead of the race? Marcel holding on to third. Cuba is his next target in second place on those worn hard compound tires. But it's not the best run, but there is a lot of chaos behind as Dambo, Clubden, and Machan are fighting for fourth place. More bit of contact made between Makan and Clodden as we might be going free wide into the rest of Filio. Makan does back out, but Clodden will go around the outside trying to get the move done. Dambo just about holds on, and Makan will try and get the switcheroo to get into fifth place. Doesn't as Marcel goes into second, getting past Cuba. Tim. Uh, well, what's going to be Marcus there on the back of uh, Clodden? Clodden has a bit of a lack of traction there. It should be an easy move now for Marcus. It's a long state high speed but of course Clodden will defend as hard as he can and he just about makes it so far yes he does make it he does stay ahead and now it's Jasko who is also joining the fight there as Dumbo is running away he's currently in fact fighting there now Cuba there he's all over the back of Cuba Cuba probably can't hold it long Cuba holds it around the outside push. there trying to get past Clodden Dambo and Cuba also fighting for position Dambo just gets past there in the PHM car as Makan flies past Clodden. Yasko Kirill is also in this battle. He has come out of absolutely nowhere here. He's into sixth and is towing Makan all the way down the front straight in towards turn number one. Will he send it down the inside? Yes, he will. It's a brilliant move, but he does Ooh. make contact. And it is awful for Cuba as he goes around. Unbelievable. The sheer incompetence. The sheer incompetence of Yasko Kirill has put them into dire straits. And Oscar leads this race by now by a second. Marcel is in second place, Dambo third, but there is a way, way big gap between Yasko Kirill and Makan. Two and a half seconds, and Yasko Kirill will surely have to answer for his crimes. AFY. I mean, from pole position, that's pretty shocking behavior, honestly. You can't have, I mean, I say this, you can't have the speed for qualifying, but it matters about your race skills and how you drive, and... The That's racecraft just a, hasn't been there. Yeah, racecraft has not been very good at all. Um, Cuba was just a fish out of water there. He was struggling with his tyres. I feel like he should have boxed. He would have stayed in like P3 maybe, but I don't know. Back to you, Tim. Yeah, well, it's Zonsi who's in now even closing in on Cuba. And Zonsi, has, oh, he's losing a bit of time again, but he was closing in a bit before. And he has horrendous tyres as the arrest will be enabled again. Marcel is getting very, very close to Oscar as well. Marcel will also be able to avail of the DRS, which has now been enabled for the first time this race, actually. As the DRS trains are going to start to form, Oscar with a terrible run for the first chicane, as Zom Z will piss in ninth position. It's been a terrible race for him, but here comes Marcel as they drag down towards the Retifidio of turn number four and five. This is where Alonso and Vettel battled in 2011. No such incident happening here, though. Marcel will just about stay Zul's behind uh, Oscar. For the hard yeah. he will try big to moment for Oscar. Hands. Big moment for Oscar there. As we head down in towards turn number six and Lesbo number one. Oscar really, really struggling. But it's Europol versus Chevrolet and Oscar versus Marcel for the victory here. Hmm. I think he's trying to be a bit sensible. He's going to wait for a little bit. Considering ERS range is much different for P1 and P2. So. Here comes Yasko though, Yasko will go up the inside of Dambo into Ascari, and Yasko has started a remarkable fight back, and he is now into third place. Marcel has also lost a little bit of time to the race leader, Oscar, in the Europol there, eight tenths of a second between them as they come towards Alboreto for the 16th time in this race after the end of this one. We have 11 laps to go, big moment for Oscar though. He is really, really struggling with oversteer in that Europol car, which has been a trend for most of this season. Uh, Marcel just about staying within DRS range, nine tenths the gap, Tim. Well, currently it's nose battling as we see Marcel, Marcel's closing in. We see Dumbo really, really close there to Yasko. He's not giving up on that position that easily. As also behind, it's Tokshin who's trying to stay within the arrows of Marcus, but just has to hang on. In the meantime, it's Cuba all the way down in 8th. He should be pitting, to be honest. Not much he can gain right now. He can only lose time on the other cars. Uh, interestingly enough, Dambo staying very, very close to Yasko, and as Tim said, he's not giving up the place, but I think there's a sheer pace difference between those mediums and the hards, and I think Dambo can be very, very proud of what he's achieved tonight. 
At the moment, though, Marcel not gaining as much of the gap as he had at this stage of the lap last time around. Oscar is holding on well in that Europol car, but that main issue for him at the moment is the oversteer. If you're just joining us, welcome along to round four of Ace in season four of Next Gen by JL. I'm Mr. Storm, joined in the commentary box tonight by AFY and by Tim, who is the race order with ten laps to go. Oscar leads with Marcel in second in the Chevrolet. Yasko Kirill and Dambo fighting it out at the P3. Makan is in fifth, Top Chine sixth. Blood and Cuba and Zomza rounding out the field in 7th, 8th and 9th. Six retirements in this race there. Skyscap off to score. Nikon, Tisley, Artem Lizov and Domi. Marcel still not closing that gap as much as he would like with 10 laps to go. Tim. Well, it's Kennedy Dunbar. He's closing in hard there. Look at that. On the main straight. Can he make a... He just can't make a move, but he's close. Really close. And honestly, we see both... P1 and P2 and P3 and P4 having the same things with the me one on the medium b staying ahead while the one on the harsh just tries, tries to get what close. What the hell has just happened here? There has been a massive lag spike, Tim. Your mic audio cut out in Sada and Marcel just completely straight lined the second chicane there. It's just about gone back to, to normal, but hopefully you can still hear me. If you can't, that's interesting. Can uh, that's good, yeah, because there's some huge lag spike. Got really surprised by that. Both Cuba and Zoms are <clears throat> half a lap away, I sense. So they're both fine for P8, just for four points. Yeah, Cuba yeah, goes for the sense. soft tires. That's a bit early for the softs already, isn't it? That's, that's, I believe that's like three or four laps too early. I mean, they're both fine for four points. Cuba's first points of the season, which he still has to rub us. I'm Tokchne. Tokchne has gone round. Tokchne has spun out of Scari. But now Marcel has gotten very, very close to the rear of that Europol car. Only four tenths of a second separating the top two in this race. And here comes Marcel, who will use DRS and will fly past Soska. Coming down in towards turn one. Moved on before he even gets to the chicane. Oscar will still fight it, though. He still has nine laps to gain the lead of this race. And get a first win of the season for himself. And a first win of the season for Europol. Seems like the drivers are starting to behave themselves a little bit now. Yeah. Which is what you like which is what you like to see, yeah. Yeah, of course currently only nine finishes in the point. As some quick calculations say that if you are ma made lap make lap twenty four, so if they can all survive five more laps they at least get classified. Oscar closing up on Marcel coming down in towards the scar and he is gaining, gaining, gaining in a straight line. Doesn't use DRS for all the straight though, that might be a tactical move. But will we see a game of DRS chicken be played here? And that's very prevalent around this track and especially around Spa I found. Oscar with a huge moment, a big moment there as he loses the rear tyre through Ascari. Just about manages to keep it on the track, not emulating what he did in this race in TRL last season. Oscar getting very close through Alboreto yeah. as well. As we start lap 20 of 27, there are eight laps to go. Will Oscar fly past Marcel like he did to him on the last lap? Down the front straight they come. Marcel is not depleting any RS, nor is Sada. Sada just about looking to the inside. Will not make the move, though. Lap 20 of 27. Still a too close to the call for the leader race. WTF did have a little bit of a messy corner coming in from T1. It was a little bit messy. But so far, things are still going Ow. pretty relaxing yeah, for most of the drivers. I think as it stands, unless something, unless Oscar can pull something off, I think this might have been, might be just back-to-back -back wins or Monza for Marcel. Yeah. Well, it, well, Oscar is looking very quick, though. I would doubt the fact that Marcel's going to run away with this massive moment there. And here comes Oscar. We'll use the DRS, but does back out. And the DRS chicken game has begun the psychological mind games. Well and truly in force. How's your bottle, Marcel? This is... I don't know why Oscar backed out of that move there. That was interesting to see, to say the least. But, I mean, if you back out of a move, you can lose time. And, I mean, of course, he's, he's got bigger chances on the main straight. But... Oh, Marce Marcel! Marcel spins! And it's a bottle reminiscent of Hakkinen in 99. His bottle is non-existent. Oscar leads the Grand Prix. Marcel down to fourth. Oh, horrendous that. I think we just made a commentator's curse him. I just said he might win it. <laughs> and he just bottles it there. Bit of curse. He just totally lost, lost the rear there. 
Off, off, off goes Marcel, down from first to fourth in the space of about 15 seconds. And this race, he is now climbing Everest now. If he has any chance to win this race, he's hoping and praying on a safety car. The main battle now is Yasko v Dambo, and Dambo is still holding on to the tail of Yasko. I gotta just say, Storm, that's gotta be like a perfectly cut screen right there. Oh, yeah. I, I, I've made a clip out of that, I hope it's yeah. sent. I'll send it to the Discord after. Yeah, we need that, yeah. <laughs> no, but I think that I think the commentary is um also quite decent. The bottle reminisce of Hacken in ninety nine. It is as well, Hacken was in control in that race and then just uh binded into a wall and started crying. Which mm. I which I can understand as well because he was in a title fight with Eddie Irvine and High Tower Friends and David Coulthard to be fair as well. Everyone forgets Coulthard was part of the ninety nine title fight for a loss of the season. Danbo is pushing his ERS to try and catch up to Yasko. And has just about gotten into ERS, which is very lucky for him. Yasko, 3.3 seconds behind Oscar in the lead of this race. Danbo is just about a second behind Yasko in turn, but will have DRS coming down the front straight, which will save his skin for at least another lap. Marcel closing the gap, though, but that is a massive, massive moment in this race as he has gone from first to fourth, and Chevrolet's chances of victory look like they're gone, 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 Tim. Yeah, it's looking horrendous for Chevrolet, but one, one crashed out, of course, not something they could do about it. It's just unlucky, wrong time, wrong time, wrong place. And it's the other one, he just throws it away there. Interestingly enough, I found that um, Cuba has completely legged it against ZomZed. ZomZed has had an absolutely abysmal season so yeah. far. And his misery has been compounded yet again. Yeah, by I mean, being last, last in the finishers at the moment, yeah, I mean, he's he, really he's struggling. He's got horrendous floor damage, so... Yeah, that is a big reason, but of course, almost he hasn't been there. He hasn't been there for most of the races this season, and he is just finishing for minor points now. Danbo is officially out of DRS to Yaska, so his ERS management is now on a thread. Also, Marcel has lost a lot of time in that lap. And, uh, Tokshin is out! What happened to safety no. car! Safety car! Here we go! Safety car! Delayed safety car. Now we have a race to watch. Is now that we have a race to is it, watch. Is it Crashgate, though? I doubt it. But that's a massive moment for Tokshin. Why would lost he it. be Crashgate? Not Why would it be Crashgate? No, no, no. That's a joke, obviously. But still, that's a massive moment in this What's race. Competing? He has yeah, lost it. Yeah. Also, I'm uh, taking Marcel, the pits, almost. Yeah. Yeah. The Crashgate joke is obviously a joke. Please do not take that seriously, of course, for Tokchane's sake. But we have seven drivers that are now retired and two that have crashed at the Lesmo in this race. Oscar leads it. Lovely, perfectly cut screen there. If it, Maybe refrain from playing that because that's echoing through my head, so I'm sure it's... Oh, sorry, sorry. It You're didn't right, come yeah. through my clip, but it came through the stream, so... Yeah. You could use that in a YouTube Shorts now. Yeah, that's you could, true. yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. So, this race has had a lot of safety cars. This race has had a lot of chaos. This race has had a lot of drama. And this race is going to have an absolutely thrilling conclusion to it. Oscar leads in the Europol. Yasko is second. Dambo third. And Marcel in fourth. It looks like it's going to be a four-way fight for the victory of the Italian Grand Prix. But anything can happen in this sport, and it usually does. We will probably have four racing laps to the end. Maybe three at a push but it's certainly going to be a dramatic conclusion to the Italian Grand Prix. So who's it going to be, folks? Place your bets. What do all my commentary partners think? Hopefully, hopefully Macken. Hopefully. Yeah, for you, I got this Macken. I, I think, honestly, think if, Oscar, if Oscar can have a good restart, he can just stay in. If not, I think Jesko might as well just go home with it. It depends on how good Oscar's restart is. If it's good enough, he'll probably get it. But Jasko's looking, of course, dangerous behind. He's got, we know he's got pace. We know he's got, he's good on restart. So Oscar's got to watch his mirrors. That's for sure. Well, it will be a three-lap shootout to the end of the Italian Grand Prix. And this is all what we wanted, I suppose. We didn't expect for seven drivers to retire from this one. But it will be a shootout all the way the all the way to the end, and it's certainly going to be a dramatic inclusion. AFY, Tim, it's been an absolute pleasure to be with you tonight. It's been an absolutely brilliant race. That's for sure. And now every car that will now, uh, every car that's 
the, whether they DNF or not, they will score points now. Because we're on lap 24. Meaning, um, they've completed 90% uh, of the race already. Tim, uh, 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 no, I shouldn't even be saying that to you, but um, Marcel put the wrong settings in. Yeah, I know this. Yeah, so that's quite sad. So a lot of drivers have suffered because of us. And a lot of drivers might not be out because of it, which is why people are struggling with floor damage and the loss. But we are certainly in for a dramatic end to the race with or without damage settings being wrong. But let me take you through the order. It is Sada in a Europol, Yasko in a Ducati, Dan Boy, Dan Boy, Dan Bo in a PHM and Marcel in a Chevrolet. Three laps will decide the face of this Grand Prix. And it is certainly going to be a dramatic finish. Who is going to take the cake in Monza? Will it be a first win of the season for... Will it be a second win of the season for Yasko? Will it be a win on debut for Dambo? Or will it be a first win of the season for Marcel and a second win of the season for Chevrolet? We are about to get the announce, but surely now that the safety car will be coming in at the end of the lap. Here it comes. Here it comes. It's, Here it comes. It's going to be late again, isn't it? It's going to be not a very late call. Here's the conference. Here's the conference. It's, oh, there it is. So there we lap. go. There we go. Right, Zong finally. Is still catching up. Also, well, I've just got just more confirmation. It. I've got more confirmation that two people had overtook Marcus in the pits, so maybe that's a penalty for them. So. Well, I'm sorry to interrupt AFY, but Sada is doing the Asco tactic. Staying it in first year, trying to get rid of all the fuel he can. But we are almost ready to go for a free lap shootout that will decide the face of the Italian Grand Prix. Oscar will lead us. When does he go? He's off. He goes now. He stops. He's off again. And we are underway for the final free laps of the Italian Grand Oscar leads it in the Europol. Yasko in second in the final Ducati race. Under the ownership of Martin. Dambo in third in the PHM. Marcel in fourth in the Chevrolet. And it looks like Marcel has got the perfect start. As he will go around the outside of Dambo. To go into third place. Dambo fights back. Does make a small bit of contact into the first chicane. But Marcel does hold on. But Oscar leads with Yasko in second. Marcel in third. Tim. Exciting restart. Yasko had a pretty good restart first, but eventually coming down into the run in turn one, it's Oscar who still has the lead. But yes, Yasko looks a heavy one way quicker than Oscar. Let's not forget, though, guys, that if Yasko does end up winning the race on track, he might be penalised for what happened earlier on the race with that audacious and indeed idiotic dive bomb that caused them. Um, one of the drivers to go around, so it is all depending on post-race penalties to decide the fate of this race. We hope it doesn't go down to that, but there are two and a half laps to go. Oscar has got the perfect restart. Yasko's in second. Marcel a little bit behind in third with Dambo in turn in fourth. Maka and Clud in fifth and sixth. Cuba and Zomzed rounding out the field. Yasko is gaining, gaining, gaining no, on Oscar. Will it be a Europol or will it be a Ducati? Will it even be a Chevrolet? Two to go! Yeah, D Dambo is just looking to be not getting that. It's gonna be a treat. Oh, Chevrolet goes wide, and Dambo loses the car. Well, right as I mentioned him, he, he loses it. That's what Tim, I meant. <laughs> Tim, you've cursed about five people this race. Just stop commentating at this stage. This is, Here this comes Yasko, though. One. Here comes Yasko. We'll be forced to go around the long way if he were to make the move. Yasada so slightly locks the rears. One. Yeah, slightly locks the rears because of it, I think. And he does just about hold on. Oscar leads this race in the Europol. But the Ducati of Yasko is getting so close. Martin's final race as team owner. And here he comes. Yasko trying to take the lead of the race. We'll back out of it. And might well play DRS Chicken. One lap will decide the fate of this race. Because DRS will be enabled. Oscar leads by five tenths. Yasko in second. Marcel in third. Makan also in fourth, by the way. Makan is also a little move bit of a dog in this sorry, race. I had, sorry, I had to interrupt you there. Yeah. But there was a move for P5. And uh, Cuba, uh, Zomzed, sorry, Zomzed runs wide, but Yasko is still gaining on Oscar. 40% battery compared to Oscar's 65%. Marcel has 56% battery left. But the comeback from Marcel has been quite remarkable, given what happened to him a few laps ago. Oscar leads this race by two tenths. Yasko's in second in the Ducati. Clodden and Zomzed both picking up time penalties. They're the first drivers of the ones that are going to finish, hopefully, that have picked up three second time penalties for track limits but here we go the white flag is about to be raised it's going to be one final up of the italian grand prix that i'm going to take you it might well be a two-way maybe three-way fight grand prix oscar leads and it's going to be yasko in second in the ducati white drs flag. is enabled marcel has set the fastest lap yasko is gaining in the toe of um, oscar as he come down in towards turn one yasko it's do or die for him now has to make the move on this lap to have any chance of winning this grand prix but oscar holds on as we come out of the first chicane 
he only has to negotiate 11 more corners to win this Grand Prix. Oscar into turn three they come. Oscar defending fantastically there in turn one. So how is it going to end? We have three miles of racing left to decide the victor here in Monza. Yasko not having the best run. Marcel is also gaining on Yasko. But at the moment, Oscar is on to win the fourth race of the season. And to be our fourth race winner of the season, it has been a simply sensational start to season four of this championship. It looks like all good things are coming in force. Oscar leads the race for Europol. Yasko second in the Ducati. But Yasko is gaining, 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 coming down towards Ascari. He'll have to go the long way around. Can he fall? Yes. No, he doesn't. We'll have to wait. And it looks like it's all said and done. Oscar leads this race. Yasko is going to have to hope for an absolute miracle coming down in towards Alboreto. But it looks like Europol are going to get their first win of the season. Oh, in towards Alboreto they come. The Marcel outside. goes around the outside. What Yasko holds on. But it's going to be a fourth different winner in four races because Europol are going to get their first win of the season. And Sally gets his first win of the season. He wins in Italy. Yasko finishes second, Marcel in third, Makan fourth, Cuban fifth in the Union Jakar, Kludnin That's sixth, Zomzed seventh, and Dambo rounds out the field in eighth. What a race! What Get a in race. there! Get in there, Evian. That's their best result of the season, P4, P5. For two teams, that's best result of the season, I think, so far. Oh, what like, my P4, word. P5. It's lovely. Tim! What a um, race that was. Unbelievable. Poland, Poland has its first winner of the season. Here is your final race results for the Italian Grand Prix. A simply amazing race that lasted 44 minutes, 50 seconds, and two cents of a second. And at the end, we have our fourth race winner in four Grand Prix. Oscar takes the victory here in Monza. Last week's race winner, Jasko Kirill finishing second. Zach Reverso at the top two from last week. Third position goes to Marcel in the Chevrolet Macan finishing in fourth. Cuba in fish. Fish? Fish? Fifth. Cuba finishes in fish place. Clodden in fish. sixth with Dan. <laughs> fish place. Clodden for... My Clodden leg hurts for... after that. <laughs> Me, I'm, I'm sweating as well. That, that was that was a that lot of fun. Clodden, yeah. Clodden in sixth. Danbo in seventh. <sighs> Zomzed finishing the field in eighth of the actual cars that retired the two the uh, seven cars that retired from this race top chine sky scout the championship leader the former championship leader i may say bath destroyer nikon tisley artem lizoff and dommy the ben buxton supermarket sweep shop of the week award goes to tisley very good well, job he, to you tisley hell did, of a race tisley folks tisley did not finish so he can't get it because he was not slow the whole race <laughs> If he, if it were that, if it were the case, then it would go to Clodden. What a race, everyone! Indeed. And despite the DNFs, Tash and Skyscrap still get two and one point, I think. Uh, no, they don't because uh, that they didn't complete ninety percent of the race. I thought well... it was a seventy-five percent thing. I thought seventy-five percent still classes for half a point. If the, if you do that. That's for the whole race completion, that's not for the driver specific. No. Well, folks, hell of a race. Maybe. And I think, uh, will we do a uh, post race on YouTube or will we leave that exclusive yeah. to the Discord? We'll, we'll make do it on make the decision. Well. On do it now. We'll be right back. Oh, hold on, I haven't finished yet. Hold on. We're not going to be right back. We will be right back in a second. However, an absolutely incredible race. The post race interviews and uh, Storm's post-race summary are coming up after this short break. We'll be back in a second.
folks, I really have to start wearing a heart rate monitor because my heart rate goes through the roof for this league. And I think that's the best compliment I can give it on commentary because that was an absolutely incredible Italian Grand Prix that saw our fourth winner in four races this season. Flexi, Skyscap, Yasko Kirill, and now Oscar are our victors so far this season. Four different race winners in four Grand Prix. The championship wide open with half the season now completed and four races to go. Let's get a quick word with our Grand Prix winner, Oscar, if he is willing to join us. If not, yeah, he is here now. Let's get a quick winner with our Grand Prix winner, Oscar, when he rejoins. Hopefully. Yeah, let's see if he wants to rejoin. Otherwise, we can maybe talk to some others first. Yeah, we'll talk to uh, Bossas while we wait. Oh, yeah, yeah Oscar's back. Uh, we'll go. We'll go, Oscar, then first. Oscar, congratulations. And he's gone. And he's gone. He's gone. Okay. He heard my congratulations and then dips. And yeah, he, he was like, "Oh, he's going good." Let's just. I, I, I let's just move to the runner-up then, Jasko. Yeah. Oh, Oscar's back. Never mind. And he's. Back. And he's back. <laughs> yeah. um, meantime, let's see, Jasko doesn't seem to be wanting in the back. Yeah. Oscar, please stop playing with my heartstrings. Uh, there he is, the race winner. Congratulations, Oscar. Oh. He's gone. Let's just I move. give up. Good night, yeah. everyone. Nah, this... We've got more people. <laughs> right, we'll get a word then with Bottas. Should I give a swag? Well, if he wants, I don't mind. I don't oh, mind. okay. Maybe I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna be here. What the hell happened, mate? Uh, yeah, Bath Destroyer spun on the track, and yeah, he was sideways on the track. I couldn't avoid it into the uh, fucking second chicane, and it just kept my right front off, and I didn't left. Do you think you would have been able to challenge for the win had you not crashed? I mean, probably looking at everyone else struggling and spinning, and I don't even know what the fuck happened because I left after like up 17. Well, it's the start of a double header for a few of us at Monza this weekend. Do you think that your pace today will translate into the TRL race tomorrow? And do you think your pace this weekend will also translate into next week's race in this league? But I'm honest, I have no idea what the fuck even next race is week. What, what, what? Next race is week. Next, next week's race, race is. That's uh, that's interesting. To be fair, I'm going along with that a little bit myself. Tim, can you clarify that? Uh, no, I'm. Is it Zandvoort? Yeah, Zandvoort. Ah, oh, fucking hell! Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Bossas, thank you very much for joining us, and we'll see you next week, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> Afy, welcome back. I don't know, he's maybe dead. Let's just see. He, he has died. His heart rate got too high, he did. Yeah, maybe, maybe, let's see if... Okay. Bath Destroyer is um, a good uh, yeah. person to talk to. I enjoy speaking to Bath Destroyer. He's very eloquent with his words. And I'm sure he'll have a lot to say. Bath Destroyer, Bossa said you spun around. Can you tell us what exactly happened from inside the pocket of the car? Um, I uh, locked my viz. I had a lot of damage at the time from... Lap one, turn one. I had major underfloor damage. I'd my, I'd major side pod damage. Um, yeah, when I just spun, uh, held my brakes. Uh, that couldn't stop Skyscap uh, hitting me. But no hard feelings now, and we both move forward and focus on our aims for the championship. Do you think you could have finished in a decent point scoring position had you not retired? Uh, probably not with my damage. Um, probably not with my damage, I don't think. Maybe PA or something. I just try to stay out and um, see where the pace was and just the car was all over the place, so... Yeah, it was really unfortunate that my race basically ended at turn one because of the incident, and I was kind of just a passenger, really. Um, and yeah, it was unfortunate. 
Looking towards Zandvoort next weekend, do you think you'll be able to challenge for the points again? Good position, maybe? Um, yeah, uh, Netherlands is one of my favourite tracks. It's one of my better tracks. I think Monza's I'm not very good at, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And um, yeah. Thank you very much for the story. We'll see you next Friday. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm very oh, echoey for some reason. Um, Why am I so echoey? Else got? We'll get um. Zomzed, maybe. The word was Zomzed. We can try to ask to start to Zomzed. Let's see. My season one and probably one of my favorite drivers in this league. But yeah, what's up? Uh, Zomzed, it's been. An awful start to the season, too. Not sugarcoated at all. You obviously oh, suffered a lot of damage in tonight. I, I, I'm, I'm purely spruiking the truth. I'm saying the truth here. I don't mean to offend you. If I do, I'm sorry. But no, I'm washed. Look, it's... I'm washed. Nah, sound very similar. Um, but look, tonight's race obviously didn't go the way you wanted. Severe damage in the opening few ups. Do you think you could have been able to challenge for something more decent had you not suffered that damage? Um. um... I should have qualified better. Uh, I decided to, to test something when I shouldn't have tested it, so I ended in a wall. Uh, so I, I think quality pace from what I was practicing before could have been fifth-ish area instead of thirteenth, which would have helped. But this race was just a, if you don't get damaged, you'll probably be better off. My car was basically on fire. It felt like I, even with fully RS DRS, and I think my wings were really really low I, I had no straight line speed i'd be passed by two or three people every straight so it was just a game of surviving but we'll i think there's a points at the end which is all right will there be a comeback next weekend at zambos uh no thank you very much well, well try for, i mean there's got to be a bit of magic left from the things pull off a sweet move from uh, Sandvor, it's not happening. I, <laughs> I don't know the track. I don't think I've driven at this game. I don't know what way the turns are. So uh, I, might, I might do comms next week. I don't know. There's no point to be on the track. <laughs> All right. five, imagine five people in the commentary box. Seven. But I'm all for it. Anyway, thank you very much, Tom Zed. Good night. Good night. Let's see. We have. Back to the Shadow Realm. Maybe McClellan probably doesn't. Well, yeah, should, we, should, we, uh, should we interview Yasko? Uh, we, 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 to Yasko. we already nice. tried, but we can try again, I we guess. We tried the blind, yeah. Uh, we're going to work with McClellan and then we'll finish um, up then after this. Oh, look at that. Our runner up. Hopefully, if he's willing. He's, he's in that thing right now. But... Uh, hello. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Doesn't look like anything's working. It is though. That's just a new issue then. So it's, 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 there's like a problem with the post race ceremony. I oh, there we go. Hero speak. Oh, never mind. There we go. Yeah, it's sort of now. Hello, Yaska. Hello. Hello. Um, second place tonight. Could you have won? Uh, no, I have the damage also on the rear diffuser, so the car handling was very difficult. And uh, anyway, I got uh, five or ten second penalty for uh, hitting Cuba in first game, like in the middle of the race. Uh, looking towards next week, will it be a second win? Well, my pace is under uh, not very good, but uh, anything can happen, so I'll just do my best to win again. Well, uh... Thank you very much, Yasko. We'll see you next week. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. And then we and could try Clodden. I don't know. Let's see. Yes, there is our... What is it? Hello, Are you there? Yes. How was the race tonight for you? Well, it was all right, to be honest, but... Uh, very many mistakes uh, caused me to lose positions, but I don't think I had uh, done better if I didn't do the mistakes. So, I guess all right. Uh, well, how was it for the first, as being the first Wildcard driver? 
Uh, well, I was a bit nervous in the beginning, but uh, uh, it kind of planed out, so it wasn't really nothing special. Um, would you like to come back and do more wildcard appearances? Uh, yeah, I can. It was fun to drive uh, this track because I'm usually not that monster. So we, we other tracks like uh, Sandboard also, uh, maybe. So, yeah. Well, thank you very much, Tom. Great to talk to you tonight, and hopefully you'll be back at some stage in the future. Good night. Yeah, good night. It's a thing that rough the post race. Yeah. Race. Well, um, look, time to conclude, as always, it's the saddest part of the Grand Prix weekend, having to finish up things for yet another week AFY. Tim, thank you very much for joining me this evening, and a big thank you to everyone who has been watching for the last few hours. An absolutely incredible race here in Monza, an absolutely incredible first half of the season. Four Grand Prix, four race winners, four different constructors winning races. It looks like all good things come in force, and with four to go, the championship battle is well and truly alive. We'll see you next